All right, hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Last time, uh, we kicked butt at the Great Wall of China, and, um, and Lance and Lily decided to get together and become a couple. All right, and uh, were we able to cure Lance's father? Well, let's find out. First, let's talk to some folks in here. Well, if you go west of here, there's a huge desert, okay? Can't cross it on foot without crooks. Oh, those, uh, those, uh, animal thingies. How will I get a crook? I don't know. Let's go ask John Crook. Maybe he'll know. I hope Lance's father recovers quickly. Well, check on him in a second. I made my father very happy before. I think he'll recover slowly, though. Okay. There'll be a full moon tonight. What are there going to be? Werewolves? Uh... We'll find out in a little bit, folks. Crook is an odd animal. I don't like care. Alright, so let's go and um, check on the progress of the father, shall we? I w it says the same thing. What gives, folks? Anyway... Uh, everybody else says pretty much the same thing. So there's nothing new in here. I think except for some dialogue from this lady. A woman pink chanted over that lotus leaf. Okay. Whatever. Alright, so what we have to do to advance the plot is, uh, hey, good timing. Move. Move. There we go. Let's try to manipulate it to move. Figure if you try to get off, uh, it, it'll let you, uh, it'll finally go. You want to join the Russian Glass Club? I remember last episode, they always do this on at midnight at a full moon. Well, that, that was your clue to go do this, folks. And yeah, unfortunately, we got to do this. Uh, the Russian Roulette Club. That's what this is, folks. Unfortunately, we've got to advance the plot, so let's do this. This isn't just a game. You could lose your life. Yes. The opponent is over there. He's a seasoned veteran. I've never seen a man so lucky. We'll ask him the rules. Alright. Tonight, some young man will lose his life. Well... That sucks. Here's the opponent. Shoot, I forgot my lucky crux foot. Uh-oh, you're screwed. The rules are simple. One of the five glasses contains poison. Drink each one in turn and the winner is left alive is the winner. Start with me. Banzai! The opponent drank the glass in one gulp. I like how the... um. Dungeon music is sped up here, folks. Oh, one down, four to go. Opponents won a lot of money. Wonder what he does with it. We'll find out a little bit later, folks. You have courage. Now that I got psychic abilities, you're still young. Why would you risk your life this way? This isn't like um, when I did the uh, playthrough of Chapter 1 of a King's Quest where you just uh, put a thing in the goblet and you can tell which one is the good one or the poisoned one or whatever. There's no game as exciting as this one. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, this right one is the poisoned one. Uh, it's not random. See, classic suspicious. No. So don't drink that right one. All right, my let my turn next. Banzai! All right, you're good. My turn next. We have established that that one's gonna kill you, so you don't have to go. Yep. 
You don't have to do this, pal. That's enough. He won. Right now, just quit. No. I'm the champion. I will not be disgraced. He picks up the glass. No! You lost already. Stop! He downs the drink in a shot. And nothing ever happened, folks. Yay! Well, well you're the Russian roulette player. Like so I know Russian roulette's done with a gun and a bullet and all that fun stuff, but it's basically the same concept. My husband said once that he found a job where we would be okay, but I was surprised at what he did. This is my husband's will to my opponent. Please read it. There are four crux outside. Please use them. Oh, we get to use this crux. That's how we can cross the desert like Neil was suggesting earlier. All right, let's read this guy's will. To the opponent. Even if I perish, don't mourn for me. Even if Russian roulette without a gun doesn't cost me my life, it's my fate to soon pass away. Oh. So he's already terminally ill anyhow. Well, that sucks. Six months ago when I found out I was dying, I decided to amass as much money as possible. I wanted to leave it to my wife and the child that I'll never see. Wow. I made my fortune in spite of the unhappiness I have caused others. Well, yeah, that is blood money if you want to call it that. Even if I lose... I want to leave part of my estate to you. Huh? Please take care of my four favorite Kruk horses. John Kruk and his horses. All right. Oh. Uh, all right. I don't think we need that wheel again, but anyhow. All right. Um. Before we do do that I want to go check on um, Gramps again see if uh, he's recovered since nighttime or it pops I should say nope he hasn't recovered yet interesting all right so in order to advance the plot we got to go talk to these um, where, where were they Where were those things at? There were a, a row of four crux I just saw. That's where we have to go, folks. Not those that have been there since last episode. These guys. These are the crux I was given. Oh, actually, we... Neil's family, okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, I wish Lance and Lily were coming too. Crap, they're not. I'm sorry, but I can't stay here. I can't neglect my father, and so... I feel a little awkward. I wanted to spend time with Lily. Of course I don't feel good about it. I wanted to go with everyone. And I wanted to stay with Lily. Okay. I... I've enjoyed the journey. I hope you're successful. I've decided to stay in this town, too. All right, we just asked Lance. The moment when a man and a woman are first attracted to each other is like magic. I don't think you ever forget that feeling. By the way, Euro is where my parents live. It'll help you if we go there. All right, let's go. Guess we're going to Euro, folks. Water Mia, and, and um, I like in this game, how you see the, that line right there? That's the Asia-Europe dividing line. That's pretty cool, folks. So we made our way from China, which is in the east, all the way to Europe somewhere. We crossed the desert, 
and finally arrived in the village of Euro. Okay, cool. Euro was a bustling city, larger than I had imagined. Neil's parents lived there and ran a company called Rolex. Uh, doesn't he mean Rolex? No product placement, folks. Neil hadn't been there for three years. His parents welcomed him home. They set off fireworks. There were dancers. It looked like a festival had started. Okay. This is the house where Neil's parents live. We were shown to the guest room. The guest room. Don Maya doesn't have that palace music. The last palace we were in that had this music wasn't very friendly, so I don't get the good vibe of this place already. Well, make yourself at home. All right. I want to talk to my parents. It's been three years. I'm scared. What if I have to go to the bathroom and I can't find it? Well, there, there are bushes somewhere in this town, maybe. I don't know. Better than being a girl, I suppose, but this is a family show. What a big house. The townspeople seem to be richer than the king. Okay. What's up here? Oh, um, there's Neil's mom and dad along with Neil. We've made money and wish to spend the, our remaining years enjoying life. Nice. Why don't you succeed us? Okay, well, to live for yourself or for others? That's the question. Who do you think you are? Uh, uh, Romeo or Juliet or something? And somehow we can't talk to his father because, again, some invisible barrier. I can't get to his sprite, so. Too bad, so sad, folks. All right, there's one more room up in here. Her name is Ann. A few days ago, a man wearing a cloak came around. Okay. He asked if anyone named Kara had come to town. Oh, crap. Could it be that jackal? I shrank with fear when I saw his cold eyes. Probably. Should I tell Kara about it? If you must. I don't like that Kara. She acts like some kind of princess. Well, that's because she is a spoiled princess brat. You shouldn't be so cruel talking that way. Alright, but we need to say no, please don't. Ha ha, found a weakness. I want an apple. Oh no, is it like Snow White? We're going to go poison her? Let's go to the marketplace. Uh, well, we got to get an apple. That sucks. Doesn't matter which door you come out of, they all come out of the same place. With two front doors, that doesn't make much sense, folks. The president of Rolex lives in this mansion. We make wonderful Swiss watches here, folks. Okay. This is the marketplace. There are many back alleys between the houses in town. The other day, a man called the Jackal was asking questions. He had the look of evil. I think he was chasing someone. So it is the jackal. This is a teapot. We call it a tear pot. Okay. Once we were caught up in a war, after the woman sent their husbands to war, they saved their tears in these pots. Interesting. Okay. Sounds very sentimental. Got none against that, folks. This is the book that Rofsky wrote about the future of mankind. Where is he, Nostradamus? Okay, do you believe in fortune telling? Well, as someone, I, I believe in Deuter Deuteronomy chapter 18 where fortune telling and all that kind of crap is uh, no bueno, folks. I don't. That's uh, too bad. But um, for the sake of the game, why not? The future looks dark and uncertain. A huge comet will enter Earth's orbit. Mankind will become extinct. Oh, no. There will be nothing but despair. 
Well, read the book of Revelation. Uh, it'll give you a better story, folks. Okay. Can I talk to that woman over there? Thanks to customers like this, we can survive. Don't... Oh, we gotta go on the customer side. Whoops, sorry. This is cornmeal for making bread. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you're probably too young for this. Uh, what am I too young for? Don't know. There are many people can find under the shrine. Well, that I don't like the sound of that. Eat a tuna fish? There's not a merchant guarding it. I can just take it, huh? Crap. Our fruit is soft and tasty. Okay. The town prospers thanks to Rolex. There are lots of bad rumors, but I think the company is great. Yeah, Swiss watches are awesome. Oh, crap. I'll give you what you want. Will got an apple, yay! This is the marketplace. You can find anything you want here. Okay. All right, I'm going to go give that woman an apple. All right, let's go give that woman an apple. Yeah, I can't eat anymore. That was so good. But I want another apple! Okay, don't... You're gonna get fat like me. Don't do that, folks. Alright, so you have to give her another apple. Alright. Nope. Wrong sprite. Here we go, the lady. Here we go. Get another apple. Yay. I don't even have to pay for these apples. Isn't that nice? I don't have currency in this game, so... Yay! I'm stuffed! But I want another apple! Oh, come on! Oh, my goodness, lady. You and your apples. Alright, one more time, I hope. Alright, gee whiz. I want to explore the town. Here you are making me fetch you some apples. Why are you always going to the market and coming back with apples? Well, you say you want them. No, you want the apples. You're asking me to get you apples. Alright, I'll get a red jewel. Yay. All right, that's the first of three you can get here in Euro, and we're going to get one more after this, so that's the first of four this episode. All right, I'm done with the stupid marketplace. I'll make my way from left to right here. Let's talk to this guy. This is the Rolex corporate office. Not in that big mansion? Everything you buy in town comes through the company. Surprise it wouldn't be in the mansion. Okay. It sounds like they're talking about work. Oh no! I, I, I don't want to go to work. I hear if I do business with this company, I can get anything I want. Okay. I guess they have good pensions, benefits, and all that fun stuff. We could get anything tea, fruit, even furs. Oh. They got the rewards program, okay. I can't say that loud, but workers too. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, what does that mean? Yeah, the company handles almost anything you can imagine. What? A child? You old guys are talking about work. Go over there! Oh, sorry. What's in here? Luggage is piled up in the company next door. Sometimes you hear groans from the luggage they're moving. What? How can luggage groan? Okay. What are we getting in line for? I'm just cut right through here. 
Oh crap! Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. Finally, I'm at the front of the line. That took quite a while, folks. All right, so hurry up. I want to get inside. I want in, I want in, I want in, I want in. Aren't you Neil from this village? Rolex manages this store too. I understand, please take whatever you like. Yes. All right, his dark power increases, yay. All right, going home? Thank you very much, okay, cool. All right, so I had to wait in line for a long time that you guys got to see sped up. Okay, what's here? The town has changed. Rolex's sun growth has brought many merchants to the town. There's something behind the success. Yeah, you know, uh, that is the theme of this game after all, isn't it? Dark space. You're not needed yet. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, that's the beginning of town. There are many back alleys, okay. This is the world famous Rofsky and the violinist Raskes live, huh? They are always arguing. Geniuses can be so peculiar. Yeah, just like in Terra Enigma, the genius was the bad guy. True genius is a violent thing. Sorry, I skipped that. Uh, first thing of dialogue, I, I, I was, apologies, I was trying to move in the place, but, oh well, even the control, the D-pad, even goes through dialogue. Crap. You just dash off packs of lies, don't brag. Whatever that means. There's a dispute about the teapot enshrined at Mount Crest Temple. On Mount Crest, there are enshrined tears, once shed by a spirit. Legend says they save people. Okay. Hey, you. I feel a strange power coming from you. Oh, really? My intuition is so developed, I can sense things even if I can't see them. At the right time, go to Mount Crest and take a look at the teapot. What is this? Um, Beauty and the Beast? Rofsky marked Mount Crest on Will's map. Crap! I guess we gotta go to Mount Crest next, huh? Alright. Fair enough. But back alleys, we get... A Red Jewel. Yay! It's our second of four Red Jewels this episode. Three here at, um... This place. Villagers live here. Outsiders can't enter. Okay. I can't go to the private quarters of citizens. Darn. But I can go this way. This is the shrine. The president of the company often comes here with his wife. Oh, Neil's parents come here. Okay. Okay. Innocent looking shrine here. All right. We got it. Um, okay. No red jewels in here. Okay. Um... Okay. Why is my hair blowing? Hair not blowing. Hair not blowing. You know what that means in this game, folks. A secret passage. Crap! More slaves. Aha! That's what's groaning in that luggage, folks. More freaking slaves. Y'all suck. Near our homes, various diseases are increasing. 
Terrible diseases that turn your body to stone. What? Though I'm a slave, I'm going to run away. How? I miss speaking my own language, but I'll have to fight. Oh, skeletons over there are our friends. It was by orders! What the heck? Uh, no offense to Rolex. I am never buying a Rolex ever, even if I could afford one. We learned the language here. We could be sold somewhere else. Okay. I only speak a little of the language. We came from far away. But the real reason why for coming here, where was it? Well, we found a third red jewel in this place. All right, that sucks. All righty. There's a little bit more to this village. Yeah, we haven't been over here yet. My brother and I went, once went to Mount Crest and got lost at the temple. Big mushrooms, plants grow in circles like a maze. Whoops. Water from the mushrooms drips onto broken stems. New growth sprouts up for me, a new path. Okay. So in this upcoming dungeon, we're going to have to find these mushroom drops in order to advance in the place. Great. The drops from the mushrooms are all around the temple grounds. Ah, oh, you're going up quickly. Uh, where are you? I'm the jeweler gem controller of the seven seas. Eh, okay. All right, let's give you our three red jewels. And we've learned the dark power that we already picked up in the place. So, useless. All right. Oh, well, it is a cool power, but the ruins are a great place. They take just take my breath away. I wonder where you're taking us exploring this time. I'm afraid it's up to the whims of the captain. Frieza! I'm the explorer Frieza. I, I'm saying Frieza. I'm going to kill Goku! I too plan on leaving my name in history as the discoverer of the planet and the destroyer of the planet Nemec. Oh. Or the... I want to go to Tower of Babel and discover it. Alright, I believe that's all we can do here, folks. Or do we need to go talk to the party again? Let's go talk to the party one more time. I don't know if we have to or not. But I'm going to go talk to our party. Okay. No, we don't talk to our party. Do we talk to Neil and confront his parent his, about slave labor? Nope. Alright, so I guess that is all we can do. And before we go, let's check on Lance's dad. See if anything's healed him. Alright, cross back into Asia. And Watermia. Or Watermia. Whatever you want to call it, it's up to you. Yeah, let's go check on... Um, on those people that's right it's over here all 
All right, Dad, doing any better? Oh, Will, sorry I made you worry. My aunts and Lily did their best to nurse me back to health. Okay, sweet. I never wanted to be controlled by my son, but it's nice now to have your own child. That's right, when you're, when you're a parent, you know, you raise your child, and when you get old, your child raises you. That's how it works, folks. And I'm not trying to be uh, humorous, because that's true for a lot of folks. Rumor is we're going to collide with the big star. I don't believe rumors like that. My father's getting better every day. Now we can talk. I hope you get to see your father soon. Right, I believe you've been collecting red jewels. Well, here's another one. Nice. That's our fourth and final red jewel of this episode. Uh, let's go. Before we quit this episode, uh, let's go turn this into a jeweler gem. So now we have 34 red jewels. All right. And we can't go directly to Mount Crest. But even if we could go directly to Mount Crest, that is something you're going to have to wait for until next time! Uh, oh, well, sorry. Sorry, uh, crap. Sorry. I want to end it on this screen, folks. That's something you're going to have to wait until next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia.